Well, it sure is a starry night out on the old plains. Mm -hmm. The cattle are lowing. The horses are settling in. The four travel-weary cowboys are sitting around the campfire just trying to pass the time. Five. Five travel-weary cowboys. Sometimes it seems like the sun just couldn't come up quick enough. Well, shall we start the shows? Man, I don't want to do no show. What you mean you don't want to do a show? That's what you're supposed to be thinking about while we're out riding all day. We decided that back in Sioux City. Yeah, I know we decided that. I just don't feel like doing a show. Well, if you ain't going to do a show, then you can't watch our shows. We got to do a show every night. How he going to call himself a cowboy if come nightfall he ain't going to do a show for everybody? You better just spin your ass right around and stare at that prairie boy. The hell I am. The hell you ain't! I got writer's block. I can't come up with an interesting protagonist. You better start brainstorming to some kind of something or I'll kill you and wear your boots. Sam, if you don't do a show, then each of us, besides the show we do ourselves, only gets to watch two other shows. Three. Three other shows. Now who's going first? I'll go. All right, goddammit. All right, now, here's my show. It's called Daisy May and the most rascally horse you ever done seen, episode three. I love Daisy May. Now, y'all may remember that yesterday, Daisy May done left her pail down in the shed and had to run fetch it. So here goes, I'm Daisy May. Well, I got my pail now. I guess I best go back up to the house and check it out. <laughs> Who run around and left the house a mess like a darn tornado came in here? I'll bet it was that rascalious horse. Who, me? Now that's just dumb. I'll kill you and wear your boots. That was my shot arm. And it's gonna keep getting shot if you don't show a proper respect for the performing arts. Don't listen to him, Kenny. That was a good show. Don't let that dumb son of a bitch break your confidence. Oh, man, that Daisy May sure is a wild one. Yeah? Well, you just wait to see what she gets into tomorrow night. Oh, God, I can't wait. All right, I'm going next. All right. It's been a while since we had a musical number in these parts. Oh, man, we haven't had a dance number since Dallas slash Fort Worth. That's right. Before I begin, I'd like to ask you all a favor. If you wouldn't mind, picture me all done up like the cutest little Hawaii hula girl you ever done seen. Here I go. I like to hula when on the strangers in town. I like to hula and shoot. That's just gay. I'll shoot you and wear your boots. How can it be gay if he's a Hawaiian hula girl? You gotta pay attention, man. Go on with your story, Zeke. Now nah, I'm done. I don't need no more comments from some fucking peanut gallery. Now look what you've done. Now you go on and get up there and you give us a damn show. Actually, it's my turn. Entertain me, Sam Brown. No, because clockwise. God damn it! All right, once there were four cowboys. Five cowboys. Sitting around on a perfectly beautiful night, doing shows for each other. Now, even though this gang of men had been traveling together for nearly eight months, they only communicated to each other through silly little parables and stories instead of making real connections. Only glimmers of who they really were and what they actually felt and dreamt made it through this facade that they had erected. Gentlemen, this is not a show or a story. It's real life. This is us. Our time is fleeting. Kenny, are you crying? What? No. I think I just got some pee in my eyes. That ain't pee, you're crying. No, it's pee. Must be some splashback from earlier. Did his story make you sad? No, I peed on my face. 
His story plucked on your heartstrings and now you're sad. I ain't sad. Then let me see your mood ring. No. Show the three of us your mood ring right now, goddammit. Fuck this sketch. Give me the motherfucker. It's blue! You're sad! No, it's not. It's green. That just means I'm horny. That is blue. That means you're sad. I'm horny. His story made you sad. His story made me horny. Shit, man, you're horny. Fuck it, I don't care. All right. That's all it is. Just really horny over here. Fucking guys never fucking paying attention to me. They didn't even acknowledge my guy. I'm the one that came up with the idea for that son of a bitch. It was supposed to be all about my guy robbing old trains, and they take it and they make it about stories and mood rings and fucking horseshit. I'm gonna start my own comedy troupe where my guy's always the star and every sketch ends in song. Yeah, that'll show them. They don't even know what they're talking about. They're gonna be begging me to be on the Timmy Williams sketch group and everybody's gonna love it and they're gonna just fucking not know what to do with themselves hey, anymore. I need the car to go get lunch. Do you want me to come with you? No, I'm good. I got it. Well, did everyone already give you their orders for what they want? 